Good morning, my beautiful soul followers. Hope everyone is starting their day off on an amazing foot. So this morning I was just doing some of my own personal growth and listening to some uh, some inspirational listens, which I like to do in the morning, get my myself really started on a positive note. And one of the things I was listening to in the inspirational speeches started talking about boundaries. And then also about emotions and really stepping into our emotional expansion, our emotional growth. And lately I've heard a lot of, about people really rising up as we go into 2022. A lot of people saying like, I'm going to transition, it's been a rough year, all of this stuff. And transformation, I was sitting the other day talking with a friend over dinner about spirituality and how we like to look at, you know, spiritual growth as this beautiful thing. And it can be absolutely amazing. Our spiritual growth can be a beautiful period. It's not always dark, but sometimes in that growth period, we do have rough patches. We do have dark nights of the soul, but they can also be mixed with these beautiful moments. So I also feel like sometimes when we talk about spiritual growth, I'm going to move you guys back just a little bit because I feel like you're up in my face. Um, I feel like sometimes we we look at spiritual growth on on a, it's a black or white scale. It's either, you know, it's going to be awful to grow and it's hard and it's difficult or it's, it's, Butterflies and fairies and rainbows and actually most of the time it's somewhere in the middle and that actually is kind of what we're going to talk about today because when we start setting boundaries and this is something I learned when I was a therapist years and years ago um, and actually probably before when I was doing some of my own work as you know a, a young an older teenager early 20s uh, it's this idea that when we start to set boundaries we're going to set good boundaries. We're just going to go in. We're going to set a nice boundary. We're just going to, we're going to keep it real great. But what we don't understand is when we have been depleted of something. So if you have not, you don't set boundaries in your life, what ends up happening is we have this pendulum situation that tends to happen in our lives. And this is also is true for if we're tapping into our anger for the first time, if we're tapping into our sadness for the first time, and like that emotional piece of us. Um, and guess what? Also our joy. We tend to do this pendulum swing in our emotional growth. So we go from not doing it at all, so not setting boundaries, no boundaries, to oftentimes setting such rigid and hard boundaries that people are like, have this big reaction of like, what are you doing? Like, why are you being a bitch, an asshole, or whatever? And that's people's perceptions. But we tend to go from, from not setting boundaries, not tapping into our anger, not, not really feeling our emotions to the other spectrum. And this is why a lot of people struggle to go, okay, I'm going to set boundaries, but that means everyone's going to really be angry at me and upset. It's because we do tend to swing to the other side of, um, of the paradigm. We do tend to swing. And at the end of the day, we kind of need that swing. We need that swing. We need to experience the full swing. Now, we can be very aware that if we've never tapped into our anger, most likely we're going to all of a sudden feel a lot of anger. We're going to go from feeling no anger to really feeling it and really opening up. And it's going to feel more intense to us because we've not experienced it. So maybe you're tapping into your anger for the first time. This is something I really had to learn to do. The anger did not come well, I think anger comes naturally to everybody. But this is this was something that didn't was not something that I easily stepped into growing up and and I've had to work on over the last decade or so is to really step into my anger, to really be okay with my own anger. And I remember years and years ago, stepping into my anger, and it was like, what, Addison, why are you so angry all of a sudden? And it was because I had to do that push on the other end, 
But also at the same time, I was experiencing my anger in a deeper way. I was experiencing it as humongous when really it wasn't that huge. And once I settled into my anger, it came back, back to kind of a center point and being able to kind of harmonize that emotion. So a lot of times in this transitional period, we're going to have these, these experiences where it feels really big, but knowing that it will settle. It will settle as long as we have the consciousness and the awareness to go, oh, wow, wow, okay, I set this boundary or I really stepped into my anger or I really stepped into my emotions and I swung all the way over here. Okay, how can I balance this out? How can I harmonize this a little bit more? Okay, maybe I went too far. Because guess what? We're no Nobody is perfect. We're all going to try something and swing to the other end and go, okay, yeah, maybe I need to tone it back a little bit. I remember, I remember, and this is not really emotions, but I remember when I first started my business years and years ago, when I first started my, my private coaching business, there was a lot of stuff where I felt like I had to go all the way over here and share stuff, like share every detail of everything, even like deep sexual situations. I shared every detail. If you look back, you know, six years ago, my articles were much different. It's not that I, I don't share myself now. I share lots of stuff and there's no shame. And if I had a really amazing sexual, sexual experience, of course I'm going to write about them. Of course I'm going to share. But I had to swing to the other end of the pendulum where I was sharing everything to now I'm like, okay, that doesn't need to be shared. I can make that point in a different way. And really finding kind of that harmony, that space within me of, of just this har harmonizing of my internal and also not doing the swing any longer, not doing that swing. But the other thing I wanted to say is during, we can feel very harmonized. We can feel like very like centered and spiritually connected and all that. But during hard times, we will also start to see that swing. Now, it is important to find that center point so our swing is not quite so much. So we're not like swinging all over the place. That is when we really step into our psychological tools, emotional tools, and our spiritual tools to really support us. But this year has been difficult. Okay, like I would love to sugarcoat it. I'd love to be like, it's been great. You know, this year has been difficult for a lot of people. So let's just fucking own it, okay? And I hear people be like, oh, let's look at the positives. Yes, we can look at the positives, but we also have to own our human experience, our human consciousness right now. We have to own that that there is a lot of transition and I don't want to use the word chaos, but that's, that's the word that's coming to me right now, is there's been a lot of turmoil and chaos over the last year or two. And so we're seeing the fallout of that. And so it is important to recognize where we are and use our tools to not throw us complete, allow ourselves to not get completely thrown off uh, into this massive pendulum swing but also to give ourselves the ability to go, okay, yeah, I am going to swing a little. It's okay. It's okay. That is the human experience to go, okay, all right, I'm, I'm, I've I'm, dropped some of my practices. I'm not doing what I need to do. Okay, like, let me swing back over here. And maybe you get really rigid for, for a moment to just get back into that habit. And then guess what? Most likely you're not going to stay in this rigid space. You're going to find the space in between where you can find more of a flow, at least at least if you're in the feminine energy, you can find more of that flow. And so I really want you to look at your life right now and go, okay, where am I trying to, in a, trying to avoid the swing, I'm actually creating more resistance to just finding that natural balance, that natural harmony within. Uh, so yeah, that's really, I mean, it's just interesting because I hear the hear talk of, oh, we're going to set boundaries. I'm going to set boundaries now. And, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that sounds beautiful. It sounds amazing. But to know and to appreciate and honor the fact that most likely you're going to swing 
to the other end of the spectrum or those in your life because they've experienced you in one way will most likely have resistance to that swing. Even if you're like, okay, I'm going to keep it balanced. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to be very aware of how I'm doing things so I don't go too extreme. Guess what? The people in your life, most likely their perception of that will feel at times extreme. And that is because you are messing with their perception of you, their viewpoint of you, their swing of you. And so honoring the fact that we have our own swing and we're most likely gonna, gonna, that swing will impact others. And so if you are tapping into the beautiful emotions that we all need to be tapping into, not going, not being in false positivity all the time, we can focus on positive, but at the end of the day, also honor our emotions. We can have both things happening at the same time. We can honor our experience and also honor the, the beauty, beauty that is in our world in this moment. As we're doing this, as we're starting to set boundaries, as we're transitioning, as we're tapping into our anger, our joy, our emotions, all of that to recognize and have a level of witnessing of how big your pendulum is swinging. And to, number one, give yourself grace. Give yourself some grace. And then see if you can work with yourself to find that harmony. I, if, you know what, if you need to make a, a big, a big swing, if you need your pendulum to go all the way over here, then guess what? That's what you feel like you need to do and you need to do it. But if you're, and the boundary one I think is just really easy. If you're like, okay, yeah, I need to set boundaries, but you also don't want to give a big F you to everybody in your life. You don't want to come off as massively abrasive to everyone. Okay, well, then you can think ahead of time. Okay, how can I do this where I'm not alienating people, but I'm also stepping into this new level of me. I'm stepping into this new boundary. I'm stepping into these new emotions, whatever it might be. So just some food for thought today. As you go on your day, uh, as it's not quite the weekend, but as you start to head into the weekend, and also we're very, very close to a new year. I can't believe that this year is already almost gone. So just some thoughts as you are starting to make your New Year's resolutions or intentions uh, and moving through the holidays because I know the holidays can be um, challenging in multiple different ways for a lot of different people. So find that middle point, find that middle point, but also accept the pendulum is there and it will happen. It will happen. So all right, guys, I love you. Uh, if you desire, I have a whole bunch of consult specials and program specials going on right now. It is my the Elms Made Me Do It special that I do every holiday season. So head over to AddisonBell.net. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail there, but check that out. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. I love y'all. Bye.